Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video by me, Kateo. This is a really great time of the year because this is the time when we kind of reflect and we think back and we think about the year that has been. This is going to be probably one of my last videos for 2022 and always, as you know, on this channel, personal development and personal growth is so, so important to me. And, and so for me, looking back on this year and the things that I have learned and the things that have grown me as a person and have personally developed me as well is one of the most important things that I do at the end of each and every single year. And also at the beginning of the following year, that's when I put my plan in motion and I pick a word for the year. And as you guys know that's that's my thing it's kind of something that I do quite a lot on this channel especially towards the end of the year and the beginning of the next year so ah today we are going to talk about some of the things that 2022 has taught me personally I was going to do the whole 22 things that 2022 has taught me but in truth honestly I've been filming child this December I I just don't have the bandwidth in me to think about all those things and I just thought to myself you know what I am just going to share the things that come to mind immediately and that's that's that on that chair so thank you so much for being here for being here with me through this year as I always say thank you so much for choosing me over and over again it hasn't been the easiest year but it definitely has been one of growth and of learning and of enlightenment um, and of love and of you know new things for me and I really wanted to share that with you today so. one of the big things that I have learned in 2022 has taught me is that showing up as my true authentic self is very 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 rewarding and my channel has been one of those spaces where I have learned that the most um, a lot of the time in my life I have kind of hidden certain things about me or just kept them away from social media and kept them away from this space as much as I possibly could. I would only share what I wanted to share, but 2022 has also helped me come through as my true authentic self. I have never shared as much of myself truthfully inside, in, in, the, in the depths of the bottom, of the bottom, like truthfully who I really am and the struggles that I go through as much as I have in 2022. I realized how rewarding it is because not only do you show up to the world every single day as your true self and who you really, really are, but apologies for that, but it's also very rewarding in the sense that it makes you so relatable to uh, the people who watch you, the people who consume your content, the people who you spend time with. Um, I typically wear my heart on my sleeve, so everything, <coughs> I'm a Gemini. Okay, I'm a Gemini. Okay, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I share everything at my core. I share how I feel. If I'm mad, I'm mad in the moment and I want to show it. If I'm happy, I'm happy. If I'm crying, I'm crying. If I'm sad, I'm sad. Whatever it is. And um, I use this platform to actually sh show a lot of myself online in this space that this is truly who I am. I'm not going to pretend to be something I'm not. I'm not going to live a life that is not my life uh, for the sake of, you know, showing you what you would like to see. I'm showing you what I am showing you, what I would like you to see, which is true and authentic to me. And I built such a beautiful community here uh, by just being me, by just being true to who I am. And when you're true to yourself and you, when you show up as your true authentic self, there's nothing that you have to cover up. There's nothing that you have to hide. There's nothing that you have to lie about. And when you don't have to lie about anything, there's nothing you have to remember. Like when you lie a lot, then you have to remember all the things that you lied about. But when you show up as your true authentic self in each and every single scenario, whether it be online or whether it be amongst the people that are around you, amongst your personal life, your private life, all that kind of thing. If you show up as your true authentic self, you're not hiding anything and you don't have to cover up for anything and you don't have to remember anything you may have potentially lied about. And that for me has been so rewarding because I have found a wonderful community in you guys, but I've also found myself and um, I found myself. <laughs> I did. 
I found myself in being truthful and honest to who I am. And and that for me was just icing on top of the cake, my darling. It's, it's okay. It's okay to step back a little bit and relinquish control. Now, this is something that I really struggle with, okay? That's why in certain instances, like when I'm flying, I get very antsy every time I have to fly because I am not in control. Somebody I do not know, somebody daddy or somebody mommy is in the front there and they have my life in their hands. And I don't know how I feel about that, okay? It's really hard for me to relinquish control, but 2020 has taught me to step back a little bit and focus on certain aspects and parts of my life that need attention. Um, I'm very good at just going, 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 going. Hence why high-functioning, depressive individual. Hey, that's me. That's me. Uh, I, I'm really good at just going, 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 going and hiding everything else that's breaking me down on the inside. And 2022 taught me that, nah, it's okay to rest. It's okay to step back a little bit. It's okay to focus on the really raw and difficult and hard parts of your life without having to constantly hide them from the world and even from myself. And for me, that was just, you know, the icing on the cake, you know, focusing on myself, going away for a while and focusing on who I am and what I want for myself and my life, my health, my mental health, my growth, my personal development. This is the one year where I put myself first before I put myself before anybody else. And that took a lot of stepping back. That took a lot of it's okay, rest if you need to, shut down if you need to. I'm very bad at it now in December because I should have shut down by now, but here I am, I'm filming. Okay, I should have taken a rest period by now, but we're going, you know, we're going. And, um, but 2022 has, has taught me that it's okay to step back a little bit. It's okay to relinquish control and actually trust someone else to do something for you or to carry your heart safely. Um, and I mean that in the sense that the relationships that I have cultivated with family and friends and my partner and all of that, I relinquished control so much. I depended so much on my sister this year. I depended on her emotionally. I depended on her mentally. At times even depended on her financially where I... <laughs> I'd like to put it in the sense that I didn't want to, right? As the older sibling, you're just like, nah, it's fine. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. And then you have, you know, ultimate fave saying, I got you. And to relinquish that control and to be the older sibling, that's like, okay, fine. I guess you can help me. This was hard for me, but I learned it. Um, also learning to relinquish control in love because for me, I always felt like I needed to step up my game. I always felt like I needed to be on top of this relationship. I need to be on top of it. I don't care where he is at when it comes to this relationship. I need to be on top of it. And this particular one helped me relinquish all that control. When I was down, when I needed time out, when I needed to be left alone, when I needed to be in his presence but not be completely attentive to him as everything to just shut down and know that someone is there looking after me oh my god that is relinquishing so much control for me and I, I i've learned to do that in my relationship i've also learned to relinquish control with my relationships with my family members my mom my younger sister, you know, it's weird because how am I going to relinquish control with Hanya, right? But relinquishing the control in that she allowed me to be a little kid this year. You know, she allowed me to enjoy going to the movies and having a good time at the movies and bringing out the little kid in me. And that's relinquishing control. That's just for that brief moment, just being in the moment and living in the moment and it's one of the best things that I've learned for myself this year and I do not regret it. Not one bit. I don't regret it. I love it for me. I love it for me. The next thing I learned is you have to rest. 
burnout is a real thing okay and i've had various moments of burnout this year that have forced me to rest that have forced me to shut it down and for me that was difficult to reconcile it was difficult for me to allow it and bring it into my space that no it's okay like just rest just take a moment just 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 be in your space be in your moment be in your it's okay you know to not film for a little while it's okay to not um, feel the pressure to constantly be present and constantly be that one person that strong person that everybody goes to and what you just i learned to value the power of rest as much as i value the power of productivity and the power of working and pushing yourself and all of that i'm really good at that but i really struggle with resting hello case in point today is the 20 First, second, I don't know. A lot of content creators are going to take a break from today. I can't even tell you if I am going to take a break. I'd be lying to you. I, I really don't know where I'm at in my life right now when it comes to content creation. However, you know, it's it just taught me so, so much in the sense that resting is so important and that burnout is real because even as a creator, you the ideas don't flow if you haven't rested enough if you haven't taken the time to actually take a moment for yourself and rest you, the burnout comes and it's 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 easy to just become despondent to not have any ideas flowing the creativity completely comes to a halt and um that's when i realized this year that rest is incredibly important as much as i'm filming now trust me i am gonna rest I'm going to rest and you will know that I'm going to rest because I'll be gone for a while and you guys are going to be like, ah, ah, now when are you coming back? I know you guys, I know you guys, but rest is key. Very, very important. And 2022 taught me that quite a lot. All right. The next thing that I learned, and I hope I don't live to regret these words. <laughs> the next thing that I learned in 2022 is that love and loving someone when done right is a very beautiful thing. Um, I thought that I knew what loving someone right was supposed to feel like. And I thought I knew how to do it. Uh, I didn't until the current relationship that I'm in now. The relinquishing the control. The allowing someone to carry you with soft hands. The I don't have to be on defense mode all the time. The allowing someone to treat you well and to do good things for you without having you feel like, no, you don't have to do this. No, it's okay. No, I, I don't have... Da, 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 da. Meanwhile, your whole life, you've been doing it for someone else. And when it when it when it for other people rather and when it comes to you you struggle to accept it and to let it come into your life and i was forced to just take several seats you know i i was literally told gotta catch me outside this is what we're doing this is what i'm gonna do for you this is what it's supposed to feel like and um and as much as Oh man, loving someone is hard and it's painful in most instances, <laughs> a lot of the time, okay? It's hard, it's not easy, it's painful, like in times where there's disagreements and everything and you feel like, oh my God, your whole world is closing in on you. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's, 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 it's hard, it's not the easiest thing to do. But once you get a hang of it and you get a handle on it, Oh man, there is just, there is nothing like it. It feels rewarding. It feels safe. It feels um, powerful. It feels like it's, it's, nothing can break it, no matter what. It, despite the disagreements, the fights, the this, the this, the this. Despite, you don't walk out of a disagreement thinking, oh my God, my relationship is over. Oh my God. You walk out of a disagreement thinking, okay, well that sucked. Um, yeah, so, but anyway, so, yeah, how do we fix it? How do we move forward? And you move forward and you continue. And it's a beautiful thing when it's done right. I hope I don't have to regret these words. Because I'm a daughter. <laughs>
Okay, the next thing that I learned in 2022 is life doesn't come with a manual. It really doesn't. If you're going to try and create a routine or a manual for your life or feel like things are supposed to go this way or things are supposed to pan out this way, you're on a, a fast speeding train towards the end of a cliff because that's not how it works. I feel like for many of us, for many of us, we are winging this life thing. We're winging it. And whether you're going to win at it or you're not going to win at it is to be determined. That is just, it's, honestly, it's TBD because we're still living. You know, your, your breath is not out of you as yet. But I've learned that we're winging it and that's what makes it fun, right? That's what makes it so exciting. I don't know why my nose is itchy. Does it mean that I'm going to get money? I don't know. <laughs> that is what makes life so exciting because you're just winging it. You're going with it. I'm not saying there isn't any system or any, you know, uh, 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 rules or whatever you may have in place to help your life pan out a certain way, definitely. But I'm talking about just the day to day, we're winging it and we're hoping for the best. We're hoping to be successful. We're hoping to find love. We're hoping to create a good, meaningful life for ourselves. We, 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 we hoping to, you know, create a purposefully, I can't talk. We're hoping to create a purposefully driven life and the only way to do it is to live it every day. And that's one of the things that I noticed in 2022 is that sometimes it involves making very difficult decisions. And man, did I make some very difficult decisions this year. Um, you know, with, with choosing myself and putting my mental health first and making very difficult, big financial decisions that I typically wouldn't do. <clears throat> excuse me, and, 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 and finding myself through all of that and choosing to go the route less traveled when it comes to my content and, 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 and finding purpose in all of that. I feel like I could talk about this part all day because this is, this is what I've learned. And I, man, it feels good to know that there isn't a manual as much as we've got plans for ourselves, as much as we've got this and that and the other, the, it's okay. Mistakes are going to happen. Accidents, accidents are going to happen. And, and, and that's all part and parcel of the growth of it all, right? It's about what you take from it. It's about what you take from the day-to-day -day, from your interactions with other people your relationships with other people your relationship with your purpose your growth what you want to achieve for yourself career-wise family-wise life-wise it's the most beautiful thing and i i'm not saying it's not hard i'm really not saying it's not hard but it is quite a spectacle and it is something to behold and i learned that quite a lot there's no manual to life you just wing it and you hope for the best and i like that i like that another thing that i have learned quite a lot and i've realized that you guys have also learned that from me quite a lot is that it's okay not to be okay and having taken the month odd away that i took from social media when I went away to focus on my mental health and, you know, completely hone in on myself outside of everybody else, outside of the content creation. I had to tap into this fact that it's okay to not be okay. And that for me is hard. Hate to admit it, but it's the truth. That for me is really, really hard because I can't not be okay i feel like for me that is my winning thing that's my biggest streak like that's what everybody comes to katleo about like katleo is always good man katleo is always good she's always happy she gives great advice she's all da -da -da -da. that it was hard for me to not be okay and be okay with not being okay 
You know what I'm saying? Be okay with the fact that it's it's all right. It's all right. It's not perfect right now. And you need to just put some things away, put some things on hold, focus on certain things that are more pressing to you at the time. And that's okay. You can't fully be present for people at this time. You can't fully be present even for your job or your friends or your family or even your relationship. But you have to be present for yourself right now. And that might frighten you and it might scare you and might make you feel like you're not, you're not fine. Yeah, chance I'm not fine. But that's okay. Um, there is strength in admitting that you're not okay. Nothing is empowering about someone who's constantly going to say, I'm fine, I'm great, my life is great, I'm great, da 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 There is a vulnerability. There's a vulnerability in showing that you're not okay. There's a strength in it. It's not a weakness. It's a strength that you're saying that you are choosing to focus on certain parts of your life right now that demand your attention and you're choosing yourself and man whoo, this video is just giving me goosebumps because these are truly I, I always write stuff down you know this these are truly things that I have learned you know is that mental health matters I don't have to preach this you guys know this I talk about it all the time it's one of the pure just it's the ethos of this here channel it's one of the biggest 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 pull factors to this channel is that I don't treat my mental health like it's taboo I don't treat it like it's a weakness I don't treat it like it's something that's going to make people feel pity for me I don't want people to feel pity for me however I do want us to talk about it I do want us to have a conversation about mental health I do feel it is important to have those kinds of conversations and bring them to the forefront I find joy in showing others that I'm not okay I'm not okay but Guess what? I focused on myself and I'm constantly working on it day to day and this is how you can do it too. And mental health for me and talking about it and bringing it to the forefront is one of the... I feel like it's, it's my purpose. I feel like it's my purpose to bring this um, to the forefront and that's that that's that all that chat the next thing that I realized and learned in 2022 I realized big things is that your dreams are valid black child your dreams are valid my darling they are valid you are watching me right now and you're like cat I don't even know how to start realizing my dreams it's fine that's the next part of, of, of this here chat that we're having. But black child, white child, Indian child, colored child, African, European, Asian, Australasian, everything. Your dreams are incredibly valid. And I want you to understand that everything that you want for yourself, the success that you want for yourself, the, the, the health that you want for yourself, the healing from trauma that you want for yourself, the dreams that you keep seeing in your head, in your heart, in your, you know, your fantasies, when you sit and you daydream, those things are valid. And it is up to you to also try and put in that effort to try and make them realized to realize those dreams to validate them yourself but you deserve to know that they are validated so please uh, <laughs> enter into 2023 knowing that your dreams are valid speak it into existence manifest them 
speak them, write them down. My sister put me on to writing things down in my notepad on my phone that this is who I want to work with next year. These are the brands I'm hoping to work with. This is what I want to achieve. This is what I want for my personal life. This is what I want for my mental health. My sister taught me to do that. I don't only do it on my phone. I use my Boss Plus, child. I use my planner for everything, child. Okay? I use this, this baby for everything. But your dreams are valid. You just need to tap into them and manifest them. Speak them into existence. There isn't a lie. There is something here about manifesting. There really is. And your dreams are valid. As much as mine are, yours are too, chair. What? 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 Letting go doesn't mean you have given up. A lot of the time, people seem to equate letting go with giving up. No. Sometimes you let something go because you have developed the strength to realize that it's not serving you anymore. This relationship is not serving you anymore. This job is not serving you anymore. This line of thinking, this um, certain lifestyle, this is not serving you anymore. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have given up on this part of your life. No, it just means you have realized and you have developed the power within you to say that, you know what? This is not good for me and I'm okay with that. I just need to distance myself from it just for a little while. If it is meant for me, it'll come back for me. It'll show up for me. Um, God will make sure that it shows up for me. And meh. Yeah, letting go doesn't necessarily mean you, you've given up. It doesn't. It really doesn't. And the final thing that I've just thought about now, because I've mentioned God. 2022 has also helped me realize that my faith and how I feel about my God and about my religion and how I practice it is nothing to be ashamed of. I... I was made to feel ashamed or feel bad for the fact that I would publicly display my affection for my religion and my faith and my belief in a higher power. And 2022 not only introduced me to wonderful people who have made me realize that no, there is no shame in being truly connected to your faith and truly of the belief that you have to let God work. You have to let him work through you and for you so that your doors can be open. I'm not saying don't put in the work yourself. No. But as someone who grew up with a higher power, who's always believed in a higher power, where did I go wrong along the way where I forgot about that importance? And 2022 has taught me that. I've reconnected with my faith in 2022. Whereas in the last two, not 2022, maybe 2021 to say 2017, 18, I'd completely drifted from it just a little bit. But 2022 taught me that, you know what? I don't care who might be listening to this and thinking, oh, nonsense, or, oh, no, okay, for you. But for me, there's nothing more rewarding than knowing that there is someone who has my back, who has the ultimate power, and has my back to say, I got you, but you gotta get me so that I can get you, so that I can work on you and work for you. And... Yeah, 2022 has taught me that. And that fills my heart with so much joy. It really does. Anywho, that's what I have learned in 2022. I would love to know what you have learned. Let's talk about it. Let's share amongst each other. Let's grow. So excited for 2023. I feel like such exciting things are in the works. I'm really looking forward to 2023. I am speaking it into existence that 2023 will be fruitful for all of us. It will be successful. It will be filled with love. It will be filled with joy. It will be filled with healing. And it will be filled with so much growth. 2023, for all of us, you watching now, 
is going to bring a spectacular renewal for all of us. Okay? All right. Until then, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, thank you for choosing me over and over again, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep well, have a great and blessed festive season, and I'll see you in the next one.